in the real world. We need things. Look, take a little time for the sale. Don't need a cell block for some solitude. And you gotta grind for yourself. You don't need now, nigga, to acknowledge you. Just a product of your environment. You working hard. available and we also have a marketing internship um all of these the social media and the marketing internship will work directly with myself and the audio engineering internship will work uh directly with daredevil so we have information you don't have to decide today you can read over the descriptions um the requirements and if you're interested in applying all the information is there and we have some free gifts for you guys too for coming out and rocking with us <laughs> so. So question, just overall, like, what are you looking for from your interns? Um, we're definitely looking for someone who is willing to learn. Willing to learn, um, high energy, um, that's very social. Because I know, when I first applied for the internship, I was like, they're not going to pick me. I'm like, I don't have a big following on social media. I don't go out like that. But it really helped me come out of my shell and, like, meet people. And, like, go to play. I would go to, it's a place in Atlanta called Little Five Points. It's really, like, rock star kind of people and like walk up to them hey have you guys heard about Daft Punk's new single release and you know just having conversations with people so some we're looking for someone who's willing to come out of their shell who's very social who's definitely into the music because you have to have a passion and love for the music or you just won't really be able to relate because when you post and stuff you don't you don't want to feel fake you know mm -hmm. you want like I really rock with this y'all y'all gotta go check this out go listen to this you know um so yeah, definitely someone who's invested too, and um, who is looking for a career in this potentially, because it's a lot of opportunities out there. It's all based upon like what you want to do, and I'm I'm telling you, like I kept everything under my belt because I'm like somebody gonna need this knowledge and juice one day, mm -hmm. and so I, it's like I keep a very close relationship with them to just see the types of people that they're looking for, and I know that passion, that energy and um, that connectivity with people and individuals being social is the main things that we're looking for. You know, and then become a part of our family because NWF, we are a family. <laughs> like, and um, there is an opportunity to um, get a stipend. It's not a paid internship. It's really for um, experience, but we do have opportunities available that you could receive a stipend for depending on like events that you're doing, uh, how many numbers you're getting on your likes, if you're, um, posting in certain places where there's a large following, like however we can help you guys out, you know, we believe in doing that as well. So, yeah. so the information is here. You if you are about <laughs> well, well, one day we were in the studio, whole lot of drink coronas. You know, everybody was getting a little tipsy, you know. And, you know, me and my cousin, we started working on the beat. I got a younger cousin, he's still in high school. And he know how to play acoustic guitar real good. So, he never actually got to do a track before. So, he didn't know what he was doing. I told him, play a riff for me, and I'll help you record it. So, I couldn't bring him out here with me, but he know what's going on. But, he played a little riff for me, and, like I say, we were all drinking tequila and Corona. <laughs> and I don't know why it just made him feel like we were in Mexico. <laughs> so after he played it real, I added a little electric guitar over it and the beat. Just went up enough. And that was the first thing we said when we heard the beat. When they finished, we just felt like I woke up in Mexico. <laughs> and a <the> sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> and that's basically it. He left the sombreros in Atlanta. So we hit fault. We've been we've been rocking sombreros and stuff, you know, to help try to build more interest in the song. So I I let Pedro explain his story. But he looked Mexican anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Cuban. No. The only thing I can say was we was drunk as hell. So, <laughs> I, like I keep saying, y'all in college, I know y'all done had some party nights, but it's like, we we all, we we studio rats. So it was like, we thrive off of that. And I mean, at the time, it was just like he said, it was just that feeling, it was that vibe. Uh, 
It was funny because even our mom showed up in the studio and she gave us a few lines. I know y'all <laughs> told us a couple things to say because we tried to like, you know, just keep everything like when you speaking in Spanish in certain certain parts and stuff like that. It was just time to branch out to another another genre of music. And I think that was a good way to open it up. I think that, that genre of music right now would be called Latin Trap. Yeah. It's what they call it. It's Latin Trap. It sounds new. Um, <laughs> we got a partner that do, um, you ever heard of Cal G? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he, you know, he pretty much into that too. So, I mean, do y'all have anything to say about that song? Do you want to say? Uh, okay. um, I liked it. Versus how it sounds. Like, it's good for longevity, so I think it's really good. Alright, thank you. Your cousin is still gonna give like credits for yep. that. Yeah, I'm ready to show you how to do it. Now, we believe in being it first. Okay. So, like I said, he already know what's going on. I already got him right. Because I have to teach him how it works and all that. So, we got him right. Uh, Can't do my cousin like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, bro. Um, I thought it was super dope. Like, I like um, every song that I've heard from you guys. Like, every production has been, like, unpredictable. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Like, every instrument, like, 808 and kick, is so different about it. But it still, like, hits hard. Like, that's what I really like about it. That's because you guys are spirit. It's pretty dope. Uh, thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to say that I really like the song. I like how y'all are being versatile with your music. And uh, I also like your energy and just the fact that y'all are doing what you love. You're working hard and you're passionate about it. You're just putting out quality music. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Pre- appreciate that, man. Um, so I'm in, um, the programming director for WHBC and I'm an audio production major, so when I listen to music as a music curator, it's almost like when I when I have to think about what songs to add to a playlist, you only get those first couple of seconds. So what really stood out to me was that you had the whole room rocking from not even 10 seconds, and that's what makes music great. So definitely kudos to y'all. We rocking through it. Like, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this song really sounded, <laughs> this song really sounded like you could like see it on a movie soundtrack. Right. Like, I've been a movie too, though. It sounded like Travis Scott, Kanye West a little bit. Like, I feel like I heard Kanye and like the hook, but then it has like the Travis Scott beat. Yeah, it's really good. You calculate. Yeah, I ain't got no time for no silly shit. Kawasaki living, popping like a willy bitch. Keep a smile in any bad situation. You know you're doing something right when they hate you. You can turn a trench to a vacation.